How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I want to show you how to quickly deal with a water leak from a fixture shutoff valve like the one behind me here which was going to a toilet. Now I'm doing a little renovation project where I'm tearing up the floor and just doing a little work in this bathroom but when you deal with these older homes it's the classic scenario that you hit these snags right? You're trying to do one job and you hit a snag. So this is a, a pretty common example of one of those valves that are a little bit older. Now specifically I'm going to be showing you how to replace a fixture shutoff valve that has iron pipe, threaded iron pipe going in, Teflon tape around the pipe, and then how to thread that in and get a new one installed. Now, if you have something like copper pipe going to a fixture shutoff valve and you're going to cut that valve off because you have more than an inch or an inch and a quarter of extra pipe after you cut it off, then I would recommend going with a compression shutoff valve. And I'll show you. So this is what your actual compression this is going to go in the pipe and then that's going to actually expand and seal after you tighten this up. Now I have a different video on that. I already demonstrated how to do that in that scenario where you're cutting the copper pipe off and then you're putting the compression fixture shutoff valve on. So just check this link right here and then that will go through more your scenario. But for this instance, we often just want to get this thing stopped so we can kind of get a game plan and swap out that valve. So let me show you what to do to get the water stopped. So this is how bad the valve is. This is completely shut off with the water on to the house. Nice steady stream. So I need to hit the main water shut off, which is this ball valve that'll turn perpendicular to the pipe. Now the water's shut off and we're still draining down. So I'll let this drain down to as slow of a drip as possible before starting. Once that slows down, now I'll take the line off. And a good, depending on your scenario, a good, Next step is a 3 8 of an inch compression cap. I use a quarter inch flat washer to help that seal and that might get you out of a pickle and stop the flow to that valve while you figure out what to do and how to get a new one on there or how to fix your issue. For me, I'm going to take some channel locks and I'm going to go ahead and try to loosen up the shutoff valve and it's starting to loosen up there. I don't want to go crazy here because I'm not securing the pipe coming out of the wall, so I don't want to damage the plumbing inside the wall. But this one came out without any issue. Problem is, I do not love the condition of that pipe. Looks like I have some corrosion and some broken off threads inside my old valve. So what does that mean? So that means I need to take this flange off and take a look here at the iron pipe. Now dealing with the plumbing inside this house, I know pretty much all of it is copper, so I was a little surprised to see this iron pipe, but now that makes sense taking a closer look, I can see it's a copper fitting to an iron pipe nipple. So I need to get that nipple out and get a new one in. In these scenarios, I always feel like heat is your friend, so I always use a heat gun to try to break that loose and then secure the pipe coming out of the wall with one side of channel locks and then loosen that nipple with the other. So now we're ready to build back out with the new parts, but do make sure all the metal shavings and debris is cleared out of your line so you don't put new parts on and then have all that debris that's gonna be trying to push through. Because what the failure mode was is here's your old valve. This is the stem that is inside here and has a flat washer. That flat washer will seal with that surface in there. The problem was you had this iron pipe threaded in here, which had broken off threads, right? Corroded and broke off over time. So then those metal shavings will go through into that surface and then not allow the flat washer to seal. So then the metal shavings would poke through there. You tried to tighten down your valve, it would hit a metal shaving, and then water could bypass. So then water could go past this surface here and then go right out, and that's why you can't shut it off. So that's the failure mode. If you put new parts on and you have a bunch of debris in here, you might get exactly the same failure mode after installing everything new. So now I got the new nipple here, put some tape on and start to install.
can get back to my flooring project and hopefully that helped you guys out if you also had a valve that was giving you some trouble. Now, as we stand at the start, there's a lot of different valves out there, a lot of different pipes that could be coming in and just different scenarios. And I understand it can be overwhelming trying to find exactly what you have and troubleshoot your problem, especially if you have an active water leak. So initially, obviously hitting your main water shut off, getting that cap, that 3 8 compression cap, and those links will be down in the description on the caps and on the valves I used and just anything else that we used in this video for your reference. But if you have additional questions, jump down in the comments section and put your comment in there. Myself or other viewers will jump in and help you out and hopefully help you through that scenario. Additionally, we do have a Facebook group that's fairly active. It's Everyday Home Repairs Community that you can look up, join, and then put your specific question there. The nice thing about that is video and pictures can also be added. Now, before you take off, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you with your repairs and improvements around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.